Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, coming at you with 2021 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. Six box, pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action, I appreciate it. So, Thursday the 7th, Optic Baseball, pick your team five. Now if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in one of our filler breaks that we did. So congrats to the people who won their spots, and thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, which I also appreciate. No matter how you get in, I appreciate that. I Thank you. All right. So Donner's Optic Baseball, number five, half case, fresh case. All right, so there's six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side. Let's select a die. We'll select that one right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this side will save for break six. So I'll write six on here. So I'll underline six right there so nobody confuses it with break nine. And I wouldn't write my nines like that. That, that would be crazy. All right, so that I'm sure we'll knock out at some point tomorrow. We break seven nights a week right here on this channel. So four and 22 autographs per box on average. Hot boxes will have five autographs in there and then there are numbered uh, prism hot boxes too two of uh, two of each two autograph hot boxes and two parallel hot boxes in each case so hopefully we'll find a couple hot boxes on this side all right good luck everybody we're talking a little baseball uh, in the previous baseball break. We got playoff baseball starting up, which is really exciting. Uh, the AL kicked off today. The Astros beat the White Sox 6-1. And the, uh, the Rays shut out the Red Sox 5-0. So we're kicking off the playoff season. My Dodgers play tomorrow against the Giants. They're in San Francisco. That's going to be a tough series. But an excellent walk-off for them last night, so hopefully they can get that that momentum from the walk-off and roll it over into the Giants series. And that's going to be pretty exciting. Got a lot of family members and close friends who are Giants fans, so the trash talking has already started. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Five-game series are a little weird too. A little short series. So the divisional series, five games. And then the championship series and the World Series, seven games. I think there was a time back in the day when the World Series was like nine games. I think this was long before there was like multi-levels of, of, of playoffs and whatnot. All right, first out of the gate is going to be Isaac Paredes. Autograph for TJ and the Tigers. So a good start for TJ. Wait, is this a tie? Yeah, Team Detroit. I was like, wait a second. Yeah. Second guess myself there for a second, TJ. You're good. And then we got Spencer Howard to 249. Pink Velocity. We're going to sleeve these and set these aside. Our shipping team, our sorting and shipping team will top load those before they go out, before they're sorted and shipped out. Zach Veen, Rated Prospect Hollow. Yes. 
those lights out parallels look pretty cool too. They're pretty common, but they look pretty cool. Um, I want to say all card ship in this, right? No, no veteran common ship, sorry. So like that Garrett Cole won't ship, but Rated Prospects obviously will ship. Brian Reynolds will not ship. That will ship. Inserts, of course, will ship. And then Hyunjin Ryu is a parallel, obviously, so that obviously will ship to 149. Now, Corey Seager will ship because that's a hollow. That's a parallel. That will ship. Bryce Harper will ship. And there's Keston Hira to 125 for the Brewers. And there's Alex Kirloff, rated rookie autograph for the Twins. That's going to be for Chris Butler, won the Twins in that filler here in Optic number 5. 11 out of 15. Nice low number there too, Chris. Congrats. All right, nice first box. Olms is saying that the Red Sox race here is going to be a cakewalk for the Rays. It's the only team in that division that could have competed with them would, be, would have been the Jays. I think I'm with you on that. I think, oh, there's that Ari Zareno home run, speaking of the Rays. Our Zarene is one of the reasons why. I mean, I like the Boston team. You know, that has got Alex Verdugo on there. I miss Kike Hernandez. You know, so so there's a, there's definitely some former Dodgers there that that I want to see do well. But I mean, one could argue that that I guess. The Red Sox were kind of lucky to be in the in that wild card conversation in the first place. You know, and there's a reason why that the that the Rays ran away with that division. In the in the uh, in the break schedule in the Joe's picks tabs. I had a little parlay going today. I shouldn't have done that, but I, I was on the uh, I was on the Astros minus 128 and the Red Sox plus 138. And I parlayed that, but that didn't quite work out. I was on the Rams minus two and a half. I got that. Uh, I and I usually don't pick series winners because I'm just not good at it. <laughs> um, like I'll get one out of the four right or something like that, but. My division series uh, picks are the White Sox at plus 116. So short dogs there. Rays, kind of heavy favorites, minus 169. Then I went with the Braves at plus 124. Slight dogs there. And the Dotman, of course, bias pick. My Dodgers at minus 160. Ooh, Andrew Schmidt thinking Rays Dodgers World Series again. You're predicting if they can get past the Giants. Yeah, if they get past the Giants, that's going to be that's going to be the toughie, of course. There's Alice Kirilov again to 249. A lot of fun parallels here to chase. Luis Robert. There's Sixto Sanchez, rated rookie hollow. It's going to be a tough one for the Dodgers. There's Jose Garcia. Um, the series was pretty even, I think, this year. I think the season series was pretty even for the Dodgers. I think the Giants maybe won one more game than the Dodgers. There's Jose Garcia, 24 out of 75. I want to say a lot of those wins were earlier in the season, though. I think later in the season, the Dodgers kind of had the upper hand for whatever that's worth. There's Jared Kalanick. He's going to be worth a lot. Rated prospect hollow for the M's. That's going to be for Tyler Stump and the Mariners. That team ahead of schedule. And there's Will Crow. To 75. 
That's going to be for Washington. That'll be for Steve, who won that team in the filler. Three out of 75. 59 out of 75, Vlad Guerrero Jr. No, San Fran is not a joke. They are not a joke. I think the first couple of months of this season, I was just, I was just like, I was just like, oh yeah, you know, like sure, San Francisco's all right. They're, they're gonna tail off. They're gonna tail off. They're gonna, and then they never did. So they are, they are what they, what they say they are. Their record says they are one of the best teams, the best team in baseball. Victor Mesa, Miami. That'll be for Ryan Lind. Got that hollow Sixto Sanchez as well. And then we got a Joe Panic. Toronto, Optic Autographs. Is this an autograph hot box? Is there, this is like the fourth one, right? That's for Ho, uh, Josh Garza, not Jose Garza, Josh Garza and the Blue Jays. There's Jose Ramirez, 12 out of 199, red, white, and blue. And it is an autograph hot box. There's the fifth one. Jordan yeah, uh, Lyles, that is. Jordan Lyles, signature series for the Rangers. That'll be for Patrick Davis. Yeah, Andrew's actually shocked at how good the Giants were. They turned it around fast in a year. Yeah, they had some pieces that were lurking. And then I think... Um, some guys turned back the clock, too. I think Buster Posey looked healthy, turned back the clock. Um, Brandon Belt had a nice year. Yastrzemski kept, kept, kept growing and in, evolving as a player. Brandon Crawford had a career year. Their starting pitching was amazing. The relief pitching was solid. You know, so, they. I mean, they had the pieces there, and it just really clicked. It just clicked. They had great years. They were playing, you know, to their to their ceilings, you know, and and they put it all together. It was great. <laughs> so, it was a good job for them. I didn't think it would happen this quickly, though. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to win 106 games like this year. Yeah, I mean, Farhan Zaidi, former uh, former Dodgers front office executive, former Rays, I think, front office executive, too, or A's. I think Friedman's from the Rays. Zay Farhan was from the A's, maybe? And I think that's why he went back to Northern California. It's just, that's home for him. Um, but yeah, anyhow, they know the, he knows what he's doing. He certainly knows what he's doing. Yeah, Kapler a Dodger too. Cap Gabe Kapler was uh, was I think a poss was a potential before Dave Roberts got hired was being strongly considered for the job, the Dodgers manager job. I think Dodgers ended up going with Dave Roberts and Kapler went to Philadelphia, which I think might have been good for Kapler. I think he, you know that was his first sort of big league manager job, and so I think he learned a lot. I think he learned a lot in Philadelphia just to be a manager, you know. There's Isaiah Kiner Falefa to 199 for the Rangers. I like those unleashed, I don't know what those unleashed inserts go for in secondary market, but I, but I like them. There's George Springer to 60. There's Luis Robert unleashed. And there's Isaiah Kiner Falefa. There's Yaz right there to 199. And there's Randy Arzarena. His legend can continue to grow in the playoffs here. He had a home run, stole, stole a home. Yeah, exactly, Oliver. Yeah, the, that long win streak meant that they were due to lose. And that's why I kept saying, I was like, gosh, I, I was really hoping <laughs> that the 
Cardinals had peaked too uh, peaked too soon. I think this might be the parallel hot box here. Nice. Got two hot boxes already. Hassan Kim. Will Crow to 249. Pirates. And Tatis Jr. Diamond Kings for the Padres. And there's Brady Singer, 35 out of 75. Pink Velocity autograph for Riley and the Royals. Last spot mojo for Riley on that. Yeah, that's a, it's hard to it's hard to really analyze what an actual streak means. You know what I mean? Like Isaac Perez to 125. They won 17 games in a row, but I think they lost like three three of their last four games. So what does that mean? Are they the seven? Are they the team that won 17 games in a row, which is an incredible achievement, or are they the team that finished the regular season? I don't know, winning two of the last four games or something like that. But they didn't end on a winning streak. So I don't know. A lot of those times, those streaks don't really, really matter all too much. There's Kyle Tucker to 125. It looks good for the newspapers. There's Max Scherzer to 249. I mean, you. I mean, that's why those streak trends are kind of weird. Max Scherzer, Dodgers uh, were like, I think, are undefeated when Max Scherzer makes a start as a team. So what does that mean? Is that does that mean he's gonna? Is he due to lose his next start? I, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> There's Luis Castillo to seventy six. Dodgers had won X amount of uh, X amount of home games in a row. And they were playing at home. Does that counteract the 17 games in a row that the uh, Cardinals won? I have no idea. Those numbers can people can throw those numbers out there, but it's a little bit more than that. There's Christian Pache for the Braves, Bill Bell, Alec Baum, Stars parallel for the Phillies, Zachary, and Luis Castillo. 70, 1976 or 1776 parallel out of 76. Ramon Laureano to 99. Jared Kalanick rated prospect. Luis Castillo stars to 149. And Evan Marshall retro series signatures for the White Sox. Ryan Lind. Yeah, that Cardinals team is still scary though. They, they they still had like some starting pitchers that were that were not really. I don't think Jack Flaherty was healthy like most of the season. That's a key piece of their team. So there were there were. There's Miguel Cabrera. So that team is going to be pretty scary, I think. I mean, you got Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, on the corners. It'll be interesting to see. When Yachty retires, that's going to be a that's going to be a tough hole to fill. But yeah, they were pretty, Oliver's right. They were they were praised for that sort of Whitey Herzog ball that they were sort of emulating. They were praised for that, and they do that really well. Does Scherzer look hurt to you, Oliver? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that. What was that weird issue? He didn't wasn't he scratched from a start about a month ago? What was that issue? Was it like a, a hamstring issue that kind of creeps up? That he says sometimes pops up every once in a while? Fastballs last night was 93 on the stadium gun. Interesting. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Yeah, I can't remember the exact injury too, but there was like, there was a thing.
So what's the Dodgers playoff schedule here? So they start tomorrow, right, Oliver? So game one's Friday, Saturday. So it's a 2-2-1. So Giants have home field advantage. So it's two in San Francisco, then two down here in LA, and then one if, uh, if necessary. I guess four and five are if necessary, but. But the fifth game would be in San Francisco. So, Friday, Saturday in San Francisco, Monday, Tuesday here in LA. And then Thursday, San Francisco. Unless one of the teams sweep. So, Walker Bueller is on the mound. So, who pitches Saturday then? Urias? So, it's Walker, Urias? And would Monday be Scherzer again? Back, Turner, back, back around to Scherzer? All right, next box. We got Andres Jimenez. This auto popped a little early. Is this an autograph hot box? Uh, this is still Mets edition going to Adam Harper, who won that team. There's Leody Tavares, three out of 99, rated rookie, Rangers, Patrick. So do you do you want yeah Scherzer on four days rest for game three? Do you want him on four days rest? If you think he's injured, you give him another day. But who do you start in game? I suppose it's, we have to see what happens in the first two games before. Is Trevor Story to two forty nine? He's a free agent. So if the Dodgers jump ahead two nothing, you think you start someone else on game three? You would start. Scherzer on. Let me close that. So Josh is saying. Now, it's the, well, uh, the only reason why I'm asking Josh is because Oliver was at the game last night. He thinks that Scherzer looks a little hurt. That fastball was only on only at like 93 at, on the stadium gun last night. Yeah. So do you want to put a tired guy out, not give him full day's rest? I think he'd be on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday would be his fifth day. Monday would be fifth day? Yeah. Oh, that would be regular rest then. That'd be regular rest. But then you throw him out there, yeah. I'd throw him out there. That is our recap right there. Just a ton of, a ton of numbered parallels, uh, some other leaves. Not the best. All right, so I thought it was going to be an, an autograph hot box, but it was just an autograph that popped early. The Jimenez. We're still looking for our second here in this box. And it's Christian Javier, retro signature series. This guy's a pretty good pitcher. I had him on my fantasy team early in the season. I think he got injured a little bit, and then they sent him down to the minors for the most part because I think the Astros had a lot of, a lot of quality arms already. But this could be a front of the rotation type guy. Uh, Jonathan with that one. All right, two boxes to go. Well, Oliver, what what are, what are your uh, what's your what does your gut say about the Dodgers Giants series? I'd be surprised if either team sweeps. This is like a this is a five game series for sure. Josh, this this series goes five, right? Yeah, I think it goes five. No, I don't want to see that either. But, but in, in like realistically, it's it's going five, and it's a coin flip in game five in San Francisco. Oliver says gut says five games. Heart wants three one dodge. Three one three one would be great. Like we steal game one. Giants win game two, 
and Dodgers win game three and four <laughs> and call it, right? That'd be, that, that would be nice. I'd be happy with that too. But I could see a real, oh, I don't want to even put this out there. I could see a real roller coaster where the Dodgers go down 0-2. <laughs> and, the, and then back in L.A., the Dodgers win two in a row. And then it's just a crapshoot in game five. <laughs> I can see something silly like that happening. The Dodgers will go down 0-2. Everyone's going to freak out, you know. All right, another early auto. There's Lance Lynn. Rough start for him today. He was he was the anchor of my fantasy baseball team this year. Ryan Lynn with the White Sox. And there's rated rookie hollow Joe Adele for, for Rexy and the Angels. And we got Evan White for Seattle. Rated rookie on-card autograph for Tyler and the M's. What's everyone's read? Oliver, what's your read on the other series? There's 194 out of 199, Jonathan India. So I, I, made, some, uh, I made some series wagers, very small series wagers, which I normally don't do because I'm not very good at them, but I took the White Sox as short dogs, plus 116 to win the series. They're down 0-1 already. Rays minus 169. Bigger favorites there. Braves at plus 124. Now, those are toilet paper rolls, by the way. That's like the, the pandemic-related parallel there. <laughs> Jose Barrios, twins. That'll be for Chris Butler. I've got Braves plus 124 and Dodgers minus 160. Although, between, uh, if you're just, that's a from the heart sort of play there, ladies and gentlemen. 10 out of 25, Jose Garcia. The sharp play, it's Jose Garcia right there. The sharp play, the, the smarter play is probably just taking the the value with the Giants at plus money would be the smarter investment. But if you're a homer, then you're going to pick the Dodgers at minus 160 and lay all that money. <laughs> I mean, they're Dodgers minus one, almost, almost the same price as the Rays minus 169, right? You can argue that the Rays at that price is going to be a lot easier to. Uh, a lot easier to move uh, to to beat the Red Sox. They're gonna looks like they're gonna beat the Red Sox a lot more comfortably than, than the than the Dodgers. Yeah, Oliver's having a hard time paying attention to the rest of the other series, but Braves, Rays, Dodgers, Astros. So that would be a Braves Dodgers NLCS. That would be a good NLCS. Oh, Braves don't like Braves don't want the Braves want the Dodgers. They want to beat the Dodgers. They don't like the Dodgers. I guess the Brewers don't like the Dodgers either. I guess the Dodgers have been winning for too long. Bra Braves Brewers. And then Rays Astros. Yeah. Sounds about right. I'd like to see the White Sox move on though, but they they still can. They're only down a game. The Astros look way too. They're just their depth just looks incredible. They've just got hitters one through nine. 
Rays are pretty deep too. Yeah, I did like that. Juan Soto's rocking the old uh, the old Trey Turner Nationals jersey, right? Rooting for the Dodgers. I thought that was cool. Well, rooting for his buddy Trey, I think. Wasn't there someone else wearing a? Kevin Long. Kevin Long? Yeah, Kevin Long was sitting next to him. Yeah. In a Scherzer jersey. In a shirt. That's what it was. It was like another Nationals Scherzer jersey. And I think. Uh, there was uh, Scott Boris I think was sitting next to some guys too I think Trey Turner's a Scott Boris client Ozzy Albee's autograph nice optic autographs that's gonna be for be for Bill and the Braves there you go Bill Bell Nice. Thanks, Bill Bell. Thanks for getting in. This is, that's a spot he bought straight up, too. There's Jesus Sanchez to 149 for Miami. Oh, interesting. So when, when Soto was on the Jumbotron, he was telling the Dodgers fans to cheer. And the crowd, Oliver and everyone else, were eating it up. He wasn't shy about it. Juan Soto to the Dodgers confirmed. Confirmed. Oh man, Nationals fans would hate us. Who do we send back? Who who would you send back? Would you send Would you send Mookie back? Mookie for Juan Soto? Or do you send a bunch of prospects? <laughs> What's Juan Soto's contract? He signed a big deal early, didn't he? Really early. No, Juan Soto did not sign a contract. I live in DC. He has three more arbitration years. So it would take it would take so many prospects and players to even get it traded. It was Acuna who signed the big yeah, deal early. It was such a fleece. Eight years, a hundred mil. Right. But I don't know, that's life changing money. He locks it in for the eight years. Right. Yeah, but you should be getting paid way more than that. Those guys get well, I, mean, I, know. I guess they get paid early on when they might not even make it. Right. It's like I remember when Puig got first signed. He signed yeah. for seven years, six yeah. million dollar deal. Like, there's Albert Pujols, Cardinal, or Angels edition to 25. Yeah, well, Juan Soto is going to get a lot of money in arbitration years, and you know that the Nationals want to try to lock him up. But if you're Juan Soto and you just traded away Trey Turner and Max Scherzer and they're kind of rebuilding, you know, I don't know. That's a tough situation. Unless, like, the Nationals are like, we want you to be the face of our organization and blah, 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 blah. I, Jonathan, I did see that. That was crazy. They're asking people to see if they can look at those old video. Um, all right. But, yeah, it'll be crazy. Soto going to wait three years before he signs with the Dodgers? If Trey Turner, so maybe Trey Turner's the key, Oliver. you got to lock down Trey Turner, give him the extension and a big deal. And then maybe Soto comes afterwards. Rated rookie signatures, pink velocity. Good luck, everybody. It's going to be D, Darren, David, D A, David, Daz, Daz Cameron. I think Daz Cameron is a uh, tiger. He is a tiger. So that goes to TJ and the Tigers. I think TJ got the first autograph and then gets the last autograph. Thanks, TJ, for getting the Tigers straight up. I appreciate that. Here's a quick little uh, recap. The Daz Cameron was nice. Ozzy Albies strong. Evan White, Lance Lynn, Andres Jimenez, Christian Javier, Evan Marshall, Brady Singer, the Aros Pink Velocity. 
That was Jordan Lyles. There's Joe Panic, Victor Mesa Jr., Will Crow, Jose Garcia, Alex Kirilov was nice. That was numbered to 15. And Isaac Paredes for the Tigers. And then plus a bunch of fun parallels to get into. Second half of the case is in the store, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.